15 and honestly it just looks crazy now a lot of this information is coming to us from Taijay and um, the crew over at the msf.gg uh, website they've kind of handily uh, added it into the bot now you do need to be a patreon to be able to do it but uh, to be able to see it at the moment but honestly being a patreon for them is amazing um, you get kind of some sneak peeks at what they're coming up um, coming up with for the bot and sneak peeks of the website and stuff as well so make sure you check that out as well um, msf.gg is one of my favorite websites especially for the game um, i basically check it nearly every day i think um, and their bot is just amazing the gear command is honestly my favorite kind of command um, it just helps so much with kind of planning everything out and everything like that uh, on a separate note you can see that i've got a new green screen look at that fancy um, but i just i'm really excited about that <laughs> i need to work on like the colors and stuff a little bit like that but it doesn't look too bad but back to what we're talking about so Gear 15 is obviously going to be required for Dark Dimension 4. Now what we know is that currently, obviously we're at Gear 14, it's going to be quite a jump to Gear 15, just like the jump from Gear 13 to Gear 14 was quite a jump. The other thing that we need to keep in mind is that it likely comes alongside a level cap increase, probably to level 80, just like we went from level 70 up to 75. And obviously completing Dark Dimension 4, you're going to be unlocking Dr. Victor Von Doom. And I'm pretty hyped for him. Obviously, he's one of the most hyped characters in the game. He's been around a while in the Gamma Raids. Um, a lot of people kind of have been looking forward to him for quite a while. So it's interesting how, um, how locked behind gear this is going to be. Because Gear 15 looks like it's going to be worse than Gear 14. And I know that a lot of people out there are probably sitting at home and you are thinking, how could they possibly make it worse than Gear 14? Now, we don't know to start with how many characters are going to be required or if they're going to do City, Global, um, City, Global, Cosmic again, or if they might go like Bio, Mystic, M Mutant, or what kind of requirements they're going to have. Most likely, there will be some requirements because they want to make sure that we're working on multiple teams. That's why they had the three different sections in Dark Dimension 3. So that way you had to like work through the different teams. Now, obviously a lot of people have probably leveled up characters for the, um, gear tier 14 and stuff. And I'm suggesting probably at gear tier 14, you want to take the minimal amount of people to 14 at the moment. and kind of just hoard that gear for now, um, just to kind of keep an eye on what the requirements are for obviously gear tier 15. Um, like in, the, sorry, for Dark Dimension 4, we know what like the rough requirements for Gear Tier 15 are. They are in the files currently. Now keep in mind that this is data mine, so it might change and stuff, but um, it's kind of something that I think you should, it shouldn't be taking to uh, Tier 15, uh, sorry, Tier 14 too many characters because um, I don't know about you guys, but when I took so many characters to Tier 13, when I started taking characters to tier 14, I was running out of SBCs a lot. And honestly, SBCs were the biggest kind of thing that would cut stuck. Uh, that's the thing that I was stuck behind the most. Now, keep in mind that it does say that they're going to be adding new superior gear items to a new story campaign. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to ease up on the restrictions that much. Um, so the mini uniques are going to be there however there's going to be a new issue so first of all let's have a look at ebony moore so this is ebony moore's current gear to take him from tier 13 up to tier 14. now you can see here he requires the mini unique so you've got 24 of the um sorry you've got 24 of the sigils 60 of the slogoth uh, Sogoth, and the 60 of the lattice so it does require a fair bet and keep in mind that it's also 780 SBCs. SBCs are the thing that I have most issues with. Even mini uniques I eventually got, but the SBCs are just such a grind. Now for tier 15, we are going to be requiring this. First of all, holy cow, those SBCs, 780 up to 1,440. That's almost double. That's just, wow. Um, Honestly, that's just crazy the amount of mini, uh, sorry, the amount of uniques you're going to be requiring, uh, sorry, the amount of SBCs you're going to be requiring there. That's crazy. Now, the normal uniques here are just staying about the same. It goes from 24 up to 25. That's not too bad. You don't need to worry too much about those orange uniques, but those were the kind of the easy things. The other thing is that the mini uniques are not going to be required from tier 14 to tier 15 currently. Now, keep in mind, again, this is data mined. 
but they actually looks like they added a new type of mini unique so i think they're going to be like um tier 15 mini uniques so there's going to be like tier 14 mini uniques and then tier 15 mini uniques to kind of make them different i guess to make it harder so you can't like just hoard all your mini uniques at the moment keep in mind again data mine so it might change they might just change them into the normal mini uniques or anything like that um, however at the moment it looks like there's totally new gear pieces in there the other thing is that even like the catalyst you need 300 damage catalyst there a doubled the 150 resistance ones doubled the health ones are doubled there as well that's just crazy the amount of gear that you're going to be requiring is just going to be really insane i don't think that this kind of making it this isn't going to help all that much it's going to help you get to tier 14 quicker However, even then you're going to be requiring the resistance gear, uh, sorry, the catalyst gear, which is just a really big drain. Now, similar for um, Black Bolt. So Black Bolt, you need the uh, 60, 24, 20, uh, sorry, 60, 60, 24 for the mini uniques there and 600 uh, SPCs. Now keep in mind that to take him to tier 15, you require 1,200 SPCs. <laughs> that's just crazy and from this from these new mini uniques uh, the tier 15 ones you're going to be requiring 40 72 and 32 that's just insane like here it looks like ebony more only requires two different lots of them however he's requiring three that's just ah, oh, that's just crazy the amount of like gear even if we completely discount the fact that there's like these pieces of gear that we can't currently obtain it's just crazy but now for the actual kind of stats so um ty recently updated this as well and added this in um so at the moment this is a black bolt now i'm gonna have to zoom in here just so you guys can see now at the moment he's got 2000 uh, sorry 27,000 damage 283,000 health. This is with tier 14 and uh, level 75, seven red star, seven yellow star. So that's where he is. Now, if you were to take him up to tier 15, which I assume most people will, Black Bolt's a really good um, character that most likely people are going to, you're going to then have 30, uh, 336,000 health. That's massive. That's a massive health ball. And 32,999 damage. That's about an, like I did the math here, 18.7% increase on that damage. That's insane. <laughs> just the, the damage increase alone is just going to be massive. And of course, it's going to be something that's going to be really hard for you to get most likely. Uh, it's going to basically be um I, I think that at the moment i'm just going to start saving after i finish my black uh my dark dimension 2 uh, sorry dark dimension 3 both my dark dimension 3 runs i'm most likely just going to start saving catalysts um like my spcs and stuff like that because just even those requirements are massive here um but yeah this is this is obviously all dynamite so um it's kind of all up in the air still we're not sure entirely how they're going to kind of add it they didn't mention anything here about how tier 15 is going to work they just basically said oh hey tier 15 is coming keep in mind that we're also going to get iso alongside it as well iso also adds more health to your characters um, some of them add other various aspects and stuff as well and we don't know when dark dimension 4 is coming now we do know that it's going to be sometime before the end of the year this is basically, I mean, this is basically what they said for the, like, the, it's the late 2020 update. So this stuff sh all should be coming before the end of the year, uh, working on for the second half of 2020. So it's going to be coming sometime soonish. I'm guessing now, my guesses are sometimes pretty accurate, sometimes a little bit off, but I think November, I think November is roughly when we're going to get this, um, or that way it gives a couple months for um, ISO to possibly settle down with ISO potentially coming in like October or something. Um, it's possible that ISO comes, ISO, I'd say ISO September and then in November we get Dark Dimension 4. I'd say that that would be roughly what we're looking at there. So I'd say we've got about a month for it to kind of settle down with ISO and then Dark Dimension 4 comes along, Gear Tier 15 comes along and Level 80 comes along. The other thing is that obviously as um 
as we're going to be getting closer to a new level cap you most likely want to start saving your cores so that way you can buy more energy when the level cap comes out so that way you're getting more xp and stuff but that's it um honestly this is just looking crazy these requirements here just the svcs alone now uh, some people were saying oh how to wonder how much did you think and i said i reckon double i reckon it was double because that's previously what they kind of followed and it looks like that's roughly what we're going to be getting so that's pretty crazy but anyway, I want to know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, if you're going to kind of start saving now for tier 15 or you're not too worried about it. Personally, Dr. Doom, I want to see his kit. But given the fact that he's a character in um, a Dark Dimension, previously we had Ultron and Ultron was basically meta for, uh, still is partially meta now um, after like the two years since he's been released. So it's kind of pretty crazy. And I think that I'm looking forward to um, hopefully starting to progress towards that. I think saving my gear is probably the best idea, but I want to know what you guys are doing. Um, I've got a pretty hype stream on Tuesday, by the way. Um, if you go over to my Twitch channel, you can check it out. like the actual, um, the actual time that I'm going to be streaming, but Tuesday, my time, 12 PM, um, Australian Eastern time on Tuesday, I'm going to be streaming. We have 350 euros worth of giveaways to be giving away in Huawei points. Um, so make sure you come over for that as well. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great day and goodbye.